Hello and welcome to my video today. I've had my car in my garage for five days now and I was out of town. So today is the first day I'm coming back. I'm gonna open it up. Over this time, I had the car on the four amp battery tender and I just removed it. So let's go inside and start it up. I will put the key card on the sensor, press on, and let the car start up. One thing I must say is that having the car on the battery tender saves a lot of vampire losses that would occur. If you look right now on the screen, I have 244 miles remaining out of 77% state of charge. Let me bring up the picture I took on uh, Wednesday evening. And now you can compare the two. So after five days, you can see that there is a big difference. Let me bring up the charge screen. You can see we're at 77%. Let me go to trips. And currently this is what I'm at, um, 11,148 miles with an average efficiency of 0.32 kilowatt hours per mile, which I don't think is too bad. Total energy used. Here I have my 12 volt battery monitor app. As usual, it defaults to around 13.1 volts when completely charged and maintains it there. Let me look at the history for the past five days. Going back, there are some voltage increases to 14 that indicate active charging had occurred. Then you see a dip down into the lower 12 volt area, and I see this today, and at least once a day, and it also seems to happen in pairs within an hour or so of each other. I did a test back during the summer and saw very similar twice a day dips. So version 2.2 is working similar to 2.0 that I had back then. One interesting thing is back in the June test, over 15 days, I saw a drop of 2% state of charge over that time, but only a drop of 6 miles. On this test, I saw no drop in the state of charge, but a drop of 7 miles. So I'm getting more miles lost over the time period of five days versus 15 days. So I'm not sure why the state of charge is not showing a similar drop in my latest test. I'm wondering if I can't rely on the remaining miles anymore since during update 2.2, they can vary over time. And of course, this did not happen in 2.0 during the summer. I'll be looking more into this over time to see what I can find. Leaving the car by itself, I used to see a 1-2% to vampire loss per day. With the tender, it has dropped to less than half a percent in this test. For a future test, I'd like to leave the car for several days and see how much vampire losses I get without using a battery tender and just leaving the car by itself. By the way, I use the 10 minute energy choice in the settings. Yeah, so um, using the battery tender does help with the vampire losses, uh, especially if you cannot connect the vehicle to a EVSE over this time period. And I think there are less losses by hooking up the battery tender than there are hooking up an EVSE. So thought you'd like to know this. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.